Sarah who joined us today for once again another interesting lesson in our mathematics series. And today I'd like to introduce you to an interesting topic, angles. Today we'll be treating angles. Now you might have been conversant with your triangles. Last lesson we talked about interior angles in a triangle and the sum of interior angles in a quadrilateral. Okay, today I'll be treating specifically angles and its properties. Okay? Now, angles, the instrument used in measuring angles is the protractor. The protractor is the major instrument used in measuring angles. Okay? And the protractor looks like this. From a mathematical set, it looks like this. It has a line like this. It has a line like this. This point is 90. This point is 0 or 180. This thing is 180 or 0. And it has graduations like this all around. Okay? This is how your contractor looks like in your mathematical set, okay? And this is the basic tool or instrument used in measuring angles. Each of this line in the protractor depicts one degree. It depicts one degree. Each of this line on your protractor depicts one degree okay so when it at when your angle is at 90 it is called 90 degree when it's at 180 it is called 180 degree when it's somewhere here let's assume there is 120 it is at 120 degrees now for your circle your circle your circle has 360 points since like this is 180 degree if I draw another one to complete it like this, it means it will be another one is degree here. Yeah? So that means your complete circle has 360 degrees. Okay? It has 360 degrees. That is the same thing as 360 points. Okay? And each point depicts one degree. So your circle has what? 300, the circle has 360 degrees. Now this is just a brief introduction on what angles are all about. The instrument used in measuring your angles is what? The protractor. The instrument used in measuring your angle is the protractor. And each point on the protractor Repeats one degrees, okay, and the cycle has 360 points, which means the cycle has 360 degrees. Are we together? Okay, now let's go straight to some types of angles as we'll be seeing them with regards to our lesson for today. The first one we're treating is the acute angle. The acute angle. What is an acute angle? An acute, acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. It can be 45, it can be 43, it can be whatever thing you want it to be, okay? Let's assume R is 45 degrees. An acute angle is an angle less than 90 degrees. Okay, that's an acute angle. And the next one is right angle triangle or right angle rather. Right angle. Right angles are angles that are 90 degrees. Right angles are angles that are 90 degrees. They are exactly 90 degrees. And they are drawn like this. They are exactly 90 degrees. And the next one we're looking at is the obtuse angle. 
Obtuse angles are angles that are more than 90 degrees or less than 180 degrees. Obtuse angles are angles that are more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Okay? They are more than 90 but less than 180 degrees. The next one we're looking at is the reflex angle. The reflex angle. The reflex angles are angles that are more than they are more than they are more than 180 degrees. The reflex angles are angles that are more than 180 degrees. Reflex angles, they are angles that are more than 180 degrees, but they are less than 90 degrees. I'm sorry, they are less than 360 degrees. A reflex angle is more than 180 less than 360 degrees. Acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Right angle is 90 degrees. Obtuse angle is more than 90, less than 180. Reflex angle is more than 180, but less than 360 degrees. Are we together? So if I give you a diagram like this, if I give you a diagram like this, this part here is the obtuse angle. And this part here is the reflex, is the reflex angle. Let's go by it again. Acute angle are less than 90 degree. Reflex angles are 90, and right angles are 90 degrees. Obtuse angles are greater than 90, less than 180. Reflex greater than 180, less than 360. And when we have a shape like this, this side is obtuse. And this side is the reflex angle. Now let's try and look at the properties of angles. Okay? Let's try and look at the properties of angles. Let's try and look for look at the properties of angles. Let's look at the properties. Of angles. Supposing I have two straight lines, I have two straight lines like this crossing each other, okay? And here we have A, this place I have B, this place I have C, this place I have D, okay? This place I have D. Now we're going to realize that this guy, this angle, is same as this angle and this angle is same as this angle in our next episode i will go into this proper if you have any questions so far you could reach out thank you